Zero Duplex. Let's go to Zero Duplex. Um, I am going to um, switch over to uh, Chief Assets real quick. Give me a second. So um, protect your eyes because Chief Assets is going to be a little brighter again than all the rest of the stuff. Uh, I need to switch over to Zero Duplex. Yeah, no worries. So zero duplex. What is zero duplex? Zero duplex is where we take a fresh uh, account um, from absolute scratch. I don't help it at all. I I, I even do the career missions to make initial um, uh, initial capital to trade in. If you uh, haven't um, seen the uh, day one and day four episodes, just go to YouTube. You can see them there or watch them on Twitch. Um, and this is basically where we are today. I'm only trading with two out of three characters, so that's holding me back a little bit. I just finished the third character yesterday, so uh, that will help me increase this a lot quicker uh, going forward. And that's going to be the Dodixie character. Um, and so you can see the, the trajectory is fairly linear right now. It's not as exponential as I'd like it to be. Uh, but we have gone from pretty much uh, 40 million here, pretty much 40 million uh, in the beginning uh, to now, what is this, about 150 million. Um, no, no, this is 150 million. This is not 7 billion. <laughs> I don't know what's worth flashbangs and full screen ones. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. I'll, I'll, next time I'll try to remember to put, uh, Adam, uh, to put G, uh, chief assets on, on dark mode. Uh, it's just going to be ugly for you guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, 150 million, and that's pretty much all we have to do in here because everything else is going to be in the in the spreadsheet. So that's uh, that's where we're at. Uh, I'm still I'm still going for the plex in m month one, so we're still we're still going for that. Um, let me close it before you guys go blind, and then we are going to open up um, this thing instead. Um, so. This is the um, the Oz spreadsheet that I am sharing with the community. So you guys can download this right here. Here's the download link. If you want to use, uh, if you want to trade along or play along or just use it for uh, your own trading, um, there's the the link to the spreadsheet. Um, and you can see that uh, there's some clear winners in the items that I've traded in. Um, now the reason I uh, share these items with you that uh, I've made money uh, on the alpha challenge in is not because I want you guys to trade in the same exact item because that would be um, really annoying. You can of course, uh, that's, that's totally fine, I'm not gonna blame you. I'm just saying the reason I'm sharing it with you is because I want to show you the, the, the way I identified the item and the, the strategy I took so that you can find similar items uh, to do that with. Um, and you can see that the, the item that made us the, the most money um, is the compact multispectrum energized membrane. <clears throat> oh, the real Padu, try exclamation mark dark. Okay, please. Um, so, uh, I'm going to switch uh, characters to the, uh, to the alpha account real quick. Uh, so that I can show you guys in game what I'm talking about. Um... Gonna pour me another drink while we're at it. So, just for the record, we now have we have an Amar character, a, a Jira character, and a Dodixi character. I created them all from scratch, and um, uh, you know, right now. Um, Back in February, when when I did this challenge for the first time, Jida was the absolute winner. Um, this time, I have to say, Amar is very interesting right now because they're they're because of the um, uh, the new dynamic in the Amar market. There's some huge margins going on. There's some good trades, so I I have to give it to Amar. It's a, it's a fun place to trade right now for an alpha challenge because as an alpha, you don't really need that big of a market you need tiny markets and then it doesn't really matter all that much still Gila has way more opportunities but if you're a little bit uh, creative then um uh, then you can uh, you can you can do that <clears throat> so heck and rens uh because i see that in chat heck and rens are number four and number five so they're not on my list uh let's start with Gita. um and uh 
so what what I did in this sheet is uh, we actually I got this this question today on the Discord as well. Um, oh, by the way, if you want to join the Discord and uh, and hang out there, um, come. Uh, there's a link right there. The Discord is full of uh, traders uh, in game um, uh, that will help you with uh, spreadsheets. That will help you with uh, in game items. I'm really, really, really happy with the the level of discussion that we have going on in the Discord. So come come join us there. There's about 700 uh, plus traders in there. Uh, traders aren't normal people. <laughs> um. Yeah, so the what the sheet will do, it will not only track your profits, but it will also tell you what to sell right now, uh, which isn't all that exciting on an alpha uh, account, because on an alpha account, um, you're almost immediately, you're, you're going to have your buy orders fulfilled and immediately turn around and, and sell them all because you're not interested in buy and hold. Uh, at least I'm not in my strategy. On an alpha account, I'm just interested in flipping the money as quickly as possible, right? All within my rule of I'm not going to play more than 15 to 20 minutes a day on, on it. Because my the, the value that I want to add to this is I want to show you a strategy that you can do on the side. This is not your main activity in game. This is what you do on the side to make enough money so that you don't have to worry about plexing or, or, or destroying your ships, right? So obviously, so let me say this once and for all. If you wanted to sit there and update your orders your buy orders every hour you're going to have way more success than me doing it once a day obviously right because time is money so my strategy relies on updating it once a day if you want to sit, if you if you have nothing to do i don't know maybe you know you you uh, uh you you don't need to go to work uh, you don't need to go to school and you can just sit there and update your order, your buy order once an hour. On buy orders, you can get away with it because margins are just ridiculous. And even on sell orders, on the alpha challenge where your average your average margin you can see here is about 150-200%, even modifying sell orders is not going to kill you. But it's just, uh, in, in, in the long run, it's not the strategy that I want to teach you because that strategy is not going to work once you invest a trillion disc, right? Okay. Um... So, um, in terms of uh, what items are working really well, for example, we have the compact multispectrum energized membrane um, that doesn't have an insane margin. 66 is low on the low end, um, uh, but uh, you can see that we've the the average uh, purchase price has been uh, 119 uh, million, and then the average sell price is 199 million, and I've just been doing that a lot. So that uh, that margin. <coughs> that margin uh, uh, is is great for um, uh, for the high volume, uh, the high turnaround that we have every day. Because those those buy and sell orders just fulfill immediately, and that's that's just working really well. On uh, uh, prototype Arbalest torpedo launchers, we uh, it's different. We have a hundred percent margin, buying at one twenty six and selling at two fifty nine. And then we have uh, uh, also the, the cruise missile launchers that uh, are trading at 260%, where we're buying at 64 and selling at 230. Um, we'll, uh, because we have that Dodixi character ready, I'm going to show you in a second how to find those items on Adam for Eve for, uh, for, a, um, for a market. So don't worry if, you, um, if you're like... If you're like this one guy that left a comment on YouTube saying... Everything you teach is irrelevant because you can only make that much money because you understand the market and you know which items make a lot of money. My response to that is you obviously didn't watch the video because I literally show you how to find these items in Adam for Eve on technical analysis only. You don't need to know anything about the game to find these items because you can do that on Adam for Eve without knowing anything about it. Um, so... Um, yeah, we'll go into Adam for Eve and I'll, I'll show you, but uh, let's let's check real quick and I'll, I'll give you the daily routine that uh, uh, that I can um, give you. Yeah, <laughs> it's adamforeve.eu, please, not .com. Um, so, um, what I do uh, on a daily uh, on a daily um, uh, on the daily routine for for the alpha challenge is I log in. And I see I have a bunch of uh, bunch of inventory here. So if you if you actually add up the entire Jita inventory, it's about 20 million already. Um, I am in Jita 
You may be wondering, why are you in Jita? You always tell me to be in Perimeter. Earlier today, when I updated my orders, I had to fly my character to Jita because I had to update some cell orders. And typically on an Omega account, I would tell you don't ever update your cell, cell orders. But on the Alpha account, as I said, you sometimes have to do that because you're reliant on your ISK uh, uh, exchanging hands every day uh, and you're keeping your velocity up. So um, if you're if you're working with 100 or 200 percent margin, you're not going to care if once you change your cell order. So you can see here, I changed my cell order today, my cell orders today, and so that I could uh, get some cell orders fulfilled right here. Um, <clears throat> if we look at the market orders, they are still uh, pretty much intact. I am an alpha account, so I can't, um, I can't, can't even modify the buy orders from Jita. I would have to uh, uh, fly back to Jita. But what I would do is I would go in, I would have a look at my um, my wallet. So the wallet says I have eight million. So with eight million, I can put like two or three new buy orders up. I can do that. Um, or uh, if I say I need more money, I can look at my inventory and just sort by um, by the estimated price and start putting sell orders up for the for the biggest items. As I said earlier, compact multi multi spectrum energized membrane. It's it's a great item, but it's 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 very very uh, competitive at the moment. Also because I showed it on stream uh, uh, two weeks in a row and I told everyone to to that this is a great item. So I I think that didn't help um so what here i wouldn't put up these for sale i would just um wait until my other sell order is clear and then i will um uh, i will i will go um you could look at the next item here heavy modulated uh, energy beam and you can see here that this will happen as well you know somebody outbid me uh, uh, or under is underselling me and uh, i just have my my little tiny uh, uh, sell orders here and somebody has put up 160 uh, up for sale what you do then is you check the daily volume the daily volume is about 150 160 so this is like a whole day of items uh, ahead of me so i'm my my sell order there is never going to fulfill right um so uh what i can do here is i can um i can modify this uh, and undercut that dude uh, is one thing i can do and then hopefully uh on on those i actually do get my my orders fulfilled if not i might just uh, cancel them and move on to another item until this market has cooled down that's always um that's always a um an, an option right don't don't get too hung up on single market um is it worth consolidating the orders into one? No, it's not in terms of uh, straight up ISK because um, what um, uh, what what will happen if you cancel and repost, uh, it will be more expensive than modifying two orders. That's just a, a percentage calculation that you have to make. Um, it's not worth it. You just have to get rid of the, the orders right there. You can cancel them and just leave them there if you just want to get out of the market and you need the orders. That's that's the bottleneck, right? As an alpha trader, you bottleneck to to those seventeen orders. So this is really expensive keeping this out there. I need to get rid of this. So if this doesn't move by tomorrow, I'm going to stop and I'm going to get out and I'm going to um, uh, trade in other items and wait and come back to it. All these other items, there's not enough there for me to to sell. Really, maybe maybe this right here. I can I can try to sell um this one i might put up uh, right here and i just undercut um at 269 right um you can see here uh my buy price is about 180 so this is this is already not a great um, margin anymore so probably once these are sold i'm just gonna get out of it and not be trading in this market anymore because the the margin is just too too low for an alpha you can you should be aiming for 100 percent margins uh if you're if you're uh, trading in low volume so this is just too low i'm, I'm going to get out of that market um yeah but everything else here i'm uh, it's not worth selling because the, the volumes are too low so what i would do here uh, next is i would um uh, i would undock i would fly over to a perimeter and then i would go through these orders and make sure um that i am on top of all of them Buy orders in Perimeter, um, uh, in, in, in Billy's house, uh, who was here earlier chatting, um, 
you can freely update those uh, buy orders because those aren't going to kill you. That's about a uh, 0.3% uh, uh, and on that's not going to make a different a difference whatsoever. So logging in and updating your buy orders, you do that as many times as you want during to, throughout the day, as many times as you have fun doing it. I just say once a day because I don't want you to burn out on it because it, it gets really, really old logging in several times a day doing that. There's really there's real value in having a trade account that you just think about for 15 minutes a day. And then, you know, after a few months, I promise you, you will be able to pull one or two billion out of this account every month with the 15 minutes. And you're going to be really happy that you have this account because, um, you know, you can use that billion and blow it up uh, in any way possible. Uh, and and you're not going to care too much about uh, losing ISK anymore. And that's what I'm that's what I want to enable you to do. Okay, so um, I'm not going to actually do this. I'm not going to actually fly over to Perimeter and, and update all these orders because it's not really great value for the stream. Uh, so instead, what I want to do is um, we have this we have this Dodixie character, right? Um, we have this Dodixie character that hasn't started trading yet. Um, she isn't even in Dodixie yet. She has just finished her career missions. Uh, she's going to have, you know, 15 million or so. Uh, in starting capital just from the the career missions um, if you don't know by the way if you if you want like a summary of the career missions and how to do that sort of stuff you can look at this guide that I just linked there that's the 15 minute summary of this challenge that I did in February um, and so uh, for the Dixie we're gonna have to identify uh, uh, items to trade in uh, and the way uh, what well, the way we do that is we go uh, to Adam for Eve um, and um, for those veteran traders out there you guys will already know this but this is for the for the newer traders among you guys Adam for Eve dot EU not dot com running joke and here's the link uh, because later on I'm going to be showing this the the cheat sheet again with the old link in it um, just to 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 warn you um, this is Adam for Eve Fantastic website. Um, we um, we bring it down every once in a while because uh, of traffic. It doesn't handle traffic very well during the stream. Um, but there's a margin finder right here. Oh, already again? Come on. I mean, it's just like 50 people accessing it uh, and the site goes down. <laughs> this happens every time. I need to access it and then share the link. There we go. Okay. Um, so uh, honestly, I need to I need to get a commission from AdamForEve.com uh, for for their dildo sales um, because I I am I am moving traffic there. I'm I'm just I'm moving way too much traffic in there. <laughs> also, if I had if I had a million isk for every time somebody asked me about this dark mode. Guys, this is the dark mode. It's not a dark mode. It's the, it's the Osmate dark mode. Oh, by the way. Shamelessly, shamelessly plugging my merch, right? Shamelessly plugging my merch. Here's my merch. There you go. <laughs> Phenom, uh, your, your, um, uh, your message got blocked, but I'll allow that. <laughs> okay welcome dude. welcome to adam for eve um dot eu dot eu um so if you go if you're an alpha and you're you don't know where to start and in, in finding items um what you can do is you can you can look at this margin finder in, in in adam for eve and if for example if we're looking at um at dodixie then there's two things you do uh, one is I'm going to start with just Dodixie, right? Uh, I'm going to start with just Dodixie, uh, and I'm going to set the filter. And now we have the um, uh, we have this uh, this Dodixie uh, uh, right here. Um, uh, this the Dodixie market. This is now filtered just to Dodixie. Now this has one big flaw, right? That you guys, if you hang out in the stream enough, you guys know what the flaw is. Bonsai, how you doing, man? Um, and. <laughs> Oh God. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have to ignore chat for a second here. Um, 
so this is uh this is the uh dodixi market um i almost called dodixi something else uh, right there um and uh, the big flaw here is that obviously this this ignores the the botane um uh the botane market where we put all our buy orders in the player run market where we avoid taxes from dodixi um so um what um the reason I'm showing you this though, just for the Dixie, is that um, you get these columns right here, and they're they're important because they will actually tell you how many sell to buy uh, 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 sales to buy orders there are, and buy from sell order um, is uh... <laughs> okay. My my mod is just blocking everything now. Just can you guys stop using that word? Thank you. <laughs> and I'm not falling for that. Um. And um, and I don't want to have to add that word to the to the exception, guys. I don't want to have to ask, add that. Um, so these columns are very very interesting because you can see uh, how many buys from sell orders and sell to buy orders there are, and that gives you an indication of uh, how good a trade item that is. Um, so that will actually um, that will actually uh, show you which items are uh, simultaneously selling and buying, which is the lifeblood of uh, us as traders. So that's why uh, if I just want to show you that these columns are there so that if you want to understand an item better, you can look at the just the Dodixie market and see those columns. If if you're beyond that, if you are past uh, understanding which items uh, aren't uh, working and are working, then obviously what you want to do is you want uh, this to be a sync liaison uh, region so that you include uh, mm, uh, the uh, Botane market. Uh, because only that is going to give you a complete picture on what the actual margin of that is going to be because you need those buy orders because otherwise you're going to see only buy orders from Dodixi and no respectable trader is going to have buy orders in Dodixi, right? Um, so what um, what we're seeing here is uh, just the default and it defaults to drones. So we don't we don't actually want drones. Um, we, we want to look at things like, um, let's start with something easy like modules, right? You can look at type category module, and this will actually give you all the modules in the game, which is a lot, right? But remember, this is not Jita in the Forge. This is Dodixie, which is, um, you know, 10 times smaller. Um, so um, so this, uh, uh, this will have much, much fewer opportunities. And you can already tell um, by uh, the lower margins that you see here or the, the fewer items that have very very high um, uh, high margins, fewer items that have high margins. This is because we still have filters set right here. And the filters are very important to understand. You have um, this, this one right here, which says minimum trades. Minimum trades means um, how many trades are done in a day. So 24 means one trade an hour. That's not a lot, right? It doesn't say volume because it could be very, very large trades. It just says one trade an hour, and that's that's the absolute uh, the absolute minimum, right? Um, a better indicator is the ISK traded per uh, per day. So 100 million ISK per day is quite a lot uh, for Dodixi. It's not for Jita, but for Dodixi, 100 million a day, and us trading as um, uh, if if you consider the fact that we are we are doing an alpha challenge and we have right now 150 million in capital, so let's say 50 million per trade hub, we will be doing uh, we will be doing more like five or six million uh, ISK trades. So if you want to trade 10 percent of the daily volume, we're looking at items that are maybe trading 30, 40, 50 million a day. So let's let's take this down actually from 100 million. Let's take this down to 50 million. 500 is not 50. I'm I have a I'm number challenged as you can tell. Um, and uh, so 50 million. This already looks better. Um, and then uh, uh, actually let's do something else. Let's let's take this down to 10 million and instead increase this to like 50 million, uh, 50 trades, so that we have a, a bit more velocity going on. Okay. So immediately. Thank you for the follows, by the way. If you if you guys haven't uh, haven't followed yet, click that follow button uh, so that you get notified when I go online. I'm not one of those streamers that streams 24/7. That's on all the time. I'm I'm just on three times a week for two hours, and that's it. Um, 
And so uh, it's important to get notified when I go online because otherwise you're going to just miss the stream. Um, so right here, uh, you can now see the, um, uh, the margins on all modules, on all ship modules that trade at least, you know, twice an hour, uh, just about, round about and um, 10 million a day. So um, here, <laughs> yeah, Harry, no, no, no worries, man. Cheers to you as well. So here, what um, what uh, we have now is this sorted by margin. So these are some very, very interesting things to trade and immediately, right? Um, now, uh, I let me see here. Um, I would actually have to... I'm actually going to have to log in and make sure that we, are, we get to the sync liaison so we can cor corroborate that in-game. Let me see here. Um, I'm in Trosser, but uh, that will work anyway. Um, so what you can do then is you you identify some items. So like right here, this is this is definitely an awesome item. I love this item already. Uh, uh, compact afterburners are are awesome trade items. Uh, and so if we if we look look here in game. Um, I'm not in uh, in Dodixi, but it doesn't matter. I'm in the in the same region, so I can see the numbers. Let's look at this afterburner, and uh, you can see that the buy order is 707, and the sell order is 9,900. So you can there's a uh, there, there is a thousand percent. So you, you're gonna say okay, a thousand percent Oz, but that's that's not gonna work, right? The, you're never gonna get an order fulfilled. This actually works quite well. Yeah, most of the items sold are buy orders, but um, you have some sell orders in there. Um, and the average daily volume is about 100. At 100, uh, this is actually going to be way too small. And that's that's where it's going to fall down. So this item is actually, even though Adam for Eve is saying it's 10 million a day, it's actually too small. Um, it might be cool right in the very beginning uh, if you can get some orders fulfilled, but then the competition is probably too high. So it's it's worth trying it out. Sometimes you just have to try out an item to see if it works, and sometimes um, uh, you know you you just it's not working and then you move on. But you know it's worth a try because the the margin is just ridiculous. Uh, it might be for your first few days this might be a, a good item to do. But anyway, we'll move back. Let me catch up on chat real quick. Um, if the same tune was trading in Jita, taking into account the size of this huge market, what would be a good minimum traded ISK value? Um, Leo, the the minimum traded ISK value uh, volume uh, would be the same because you don't care. You just have more items to pick from. The minimum t value depends on the investment that you make, and that's going to be the same on that tune. Uh, so I'm actually I'm going to up this to 20 million because I didn't like what I found there. And then um, maybe take this one back down to like 30 and then we're going to try again. Okay, th this this looks good. Um, so um, we're actually, we are going to um, ignore um, rigs and we're going to ignore tier 2 items. Because those I, I already know are not good to trade in as an alpha because the margins are too low usually or there's, you know, they're, they're the... Uh, most of those items are only produced, so they're never sold to buy orders. There's only sold to sell orders. So you're not, you're never going to be making any good money there. So the first one that I think is interesting here is this one right here, prototype arbalest rapid missile launcher. That's an awesome item. Let's go in game and check that out. Ah, give me one second. Um, jeez, what is going on? There. Um, this is an this is an awesome trading opportunity, guys. Uh, this is a a, a fantastic oppor uh, um, example of what I'm talking about, right? You have um you have a a a a hundred and fifty percent margin. You have uh, very little competition going on. Um, you have an item that is has dots all around the middle perfectly, right? This is the same amount of sell and buy orders being fulfilled. A trader's dream, right? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit expensive, but if you're if you're an alpha, you can just buy like one or two of these and then try to flip them. 
Um, and so this is, a, this is a great item uh, that I would uh, be trading in right now. The reason for this is that somebody just dumped a whole bunch uh, to, to buy orders. And that's why the buy orders dropped down so much. So great opportunity, good item. Uh, one example, right? If I go down the list a little bit more, uh, let's look at this one right here. 500 MN micro warp drive. This one's good. Oh, look at that. We're going to immediately buy this one because somebody fat fingered an order. Boom. I just made 400,000 for my alpha. Um, so, did you, you guys saw that, right? Somebody had posted a sell order for 375. They made a mistake and I caught it and I, I, I just bought it. That is why I like these alpha challenges because I can actually be happy about making 200,000 again. On, on my normal account, I'm like, ugh. It's just a billion in profits. Uh, it's it's too much work to run after. But on the alpha account, you're like, hey, this is gonna be this is gonna be nice. Um, <clears throat> okay. You can you can tell here, uh, same thing, right? Very very nice spread in uh, in sell and buy orders. You can tell by the orange dots. The orange dots represent the median price. So half of all buy orders are above and half are below. And um, you can see very nice spread very wide channel so good margin uh and you can see here you can immediately make like 90 percent margin or 80 percent margin on this so great item put a buy order out there and start trading right perfect um the sing and drake are you talking about uh dodixi or or jita because i'll put that item in here no, this is this is terrible because there there's no there's nothing traded um yeah and in jita it's probably good and those you can't the decayed mutoplasm you can't trade anywhere outside of jita because there's no volume um let's go back let's go back i'll i want to show you one or two more items so by by the way guys um there's um I'm I'm going to I'm going to just be nice and give you guys another giveaway anyway. Uh, even though we don't have I, I don't know what's going on with the subs today, but uh, uh, that's 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 fine. You guys you guys don't have to sub. You can just uh, you can just all watch. Um, but we'll do a giveaway just because I can't watch this. I can't I can't I can't see this many people on on stream without uh, without doing a giveaway. So we'll do that um, right now. Uh, let me start that in the background. Give me a second. Uh, we'll do a custom giveaway of one EIF share, all right? We'll do a giveaway starting right now. Exclamation mark raffle to enter 15 minutes. Uh, and you can win a 118 million share. And then if you like what I do here, guys, click that sub button. If you have, uh, if you have that, um, if you have that uh, Twitch Prime subscription lying around and you're not using it, like Verto next here. Verto, thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support, man. How do you buy shares? You buy shares um, on the first of every month by joining our Discord channel. I'm linking the Discord right there. Join our Discord channel. There's about 700 people in there talking about trade and discussing uh, the investment funds. Um, okay, uh, let's do one more item. L look at these, look at these guys right here. 1600 rolled tungsten. We like these. I think I have a good feeling about these. Oh, guys, another beauty, another beauty. Look at this. This is a perfect trade item. Look at this margin. The margin is huge. The margin is seventy uh, percent. It's got uh, yeah, it's got it's got tough competition going on. That's going to be maybe your your biggest uh, um, worry. But it's got a good volume on it. It trades about forty million a day. It has a, a very nice buy and sell order spread. A great item. So another item that I would immediately invest in on the alpha challenge um, and that I'm going to once I after the after the stream, I'm going to, to fly this character over to uh, Botane and we're going to start trading on it. And then I will share the successes um, 
that we will hopefully have had uh, in the in in the future. <clears throat> Lucky shots, man. I haven't seen you in a long time. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, man. Uh, and and thank you for that uh, subscription. Five months, man. Uh, appreciate the support. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm really sorry you lost your top cheerer. Uh, Lucky Shots was the top cheerer in this channel for the longest time, uh, and uh, you, you've, you you lost you you lost that top spot to David Francis. But uh, uh, but either way, thank you, thank you for your support, man. Thank you for your support. Um, cool. So um, those are uh, some some of the items. You guys get the point, right? I can't. Um, I can't stress enough that I want to show you the way to to find items right here, but you're gonna have to work the way yourself because, in the end, also the the filters right here, play around with them, try to understand, try to see what works for you, what works for your trading style. But these filters are super super powerful. Understand what you're doing when you do regions. Understand what you're doing with minimum trades with ISKs right here. Understand the categories, and you will be a a much much better trader. Uh, no matter whether you're alpha or omega this uh, this is a very powerful tool let me just uh, show you one thing if you go to the the trend finder page you can uh, you can look at categories categories very very quickly if you you put some um if you put some uh, um some things down here um uh, like let's say you want to look at um how minerals are doing across eve and you want to say okay let's look at uh, i want to see all the all the minerals let's let's not do minerals they're boring let's do salvage goods i want to see all salvage goods that are trading at a 52 week low so at the lowest point right then what you could do is you could do year price year buy because we want to buy um we want it ascending in the forge and we want to only see the ones that are trading over uh, a billion because everything else is boring do it and immediately it's going to sort it by uh by this and you can see that all of these um are trading 48 percent uh below uh one one year so you could start uh there by by checking these out because they're they're trading low uh and it's sorted by uh, uh its comparison to previous year so very powerful tool as well um Harum, how are you doing, man? What's up? There's a raffle. Exclamation mark raffle. There's still a raffle going on, guys, uh, for uh, another few minutes here. Um, yeah. So, um, that's, uh, that's the, the margin finder. And um, what you can also do is uh, you can uh, use this, obviously, not only for modules. I, I, did, I did the exercise for modules earlier, but there's... There's some other cool groups. So if you don't want to look at ship modules, but instead, like, let's say you want to look at drones. Um, oh, actually, drones is already out here. <laughs> let's say you want to just look at drones. Um, uh, drones in the forge. Uh, and let's say you want, let's say we're alpha trading and we want the, the high margin drones. Like we will reduce that to 10 million, um, but maybe increase this to 50 trades and then sort by spreads. And then you can see here that, um, for example, the wasps, wasp ones, uh, buy order 62, sell at 100 uh, at a very high volume. Um, and e apparently even the predators are, but those you have to be careful um, because that's probably a price spike. But uh, you can... You can do this for um, for any number of categories, and you'll find uh, you immediately find uh, uh, trades that you can you can start start doing. So, margin finder and Adam for Eve, a very powerful tool. Does it also show DED LP store items? Well, the items that you trade it in for, for sure, yeah, of course. I mean. Um, so LP LP store items are are. Are interesting because you would think that nobody in their right mind would sell their hard-earned LP store items to buy orders but you'd be surprised how many people actually do that it's sad <laughs> so um, 
I, I get it. Like sometimes people just want quick money and they want to convert their LP stores to quick money. But really, um, yeah, so that, that Fuzzworks page, I'll actually, I'll show, I'll show you that. Um, so if you guys don't know how to find uh, LP store items, right? This is, this is um, uh, one good way of doing that. Um, you can uh, you can just select the right uh, LP store right here. Or oh, you guys can I, when I click on this, you can't see it because it's a new window. But uh, uh, you know, uh, let's say you're doing um, Federal Defense Union, right? In the Forge prices, and um, if you uh, if you then oh let me actually post this link so you guys here you go. If you guys want to do do this at home. Um, and you post this in here you can you have two you have two buttons here right you can click sell or buy price and i uh so most of the time you're going to want to sell prices because like let's 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 be honest here what what you want to do is you want to take your lp store items and you want to find the highest the the most profitable item for you to trade your lp in for items that are still going to sell so they need to be liquid you have to be careful because the, the most profitable item most of the time is going to be an item that is not actually moving so you're gonna have a very tough time selling it and you don't want that because you're going to waste a whole bunch of broker fees you're going to be sitting on it you're not going to get any esc out of it right so what you want to do is you want to make sure you uh, if you click on sell uh, it's going to sort it. Uh, this is. Uh, it's going to sort it um, by isk per LP, right? So this is this is your main indicator. But then you also want to make sure that the volume uh, uh, is there to 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 change, um, and you have to make sure that uh, uh, this fits well to the quantity at the isk. So the best thing you can do is before you trade in any LP do isk per lp but then make sure you also check the market and make sure you do all the things that uh that i told you to do right so let's 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 say this for example like isk per hour 30 this is a ridiculous uh price because it's saying the sell price is eighty nine thousand, right this is in in jita um so let's see i'm gonna log off and i'm gonna log into jita so i can actually show you guys So actually, let's let's take this one as a better example. Low grade spur, right? It's saying, okay, ridiculously profit. You're gonna go in here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of low grade spur because I have a bunch of LP, right? Is that a good decision? I'll tell you, it's probably not. Because you go into here, low grade spur, and nobody ever buys this shit. Right? <laughs> you're gonna be sitting on that, and you're gonna be you, you you might have a stack of twenty, and it's gonna take you three years to sell it, and you're gonna be wasting your your stuff. So um uh so you're going to uh actually uh, uh going to uh, uh you're going to uh um have a, a very bad time if you just go by the is per hour uh fonsui is the five percent volume column five percent of the daily volume of the selected regional market that's how i interpret it yes so you would think that um where, whenever this is one it's terrible because i think what it's doing it's just it's using um five percent of the uh, sell order quantity so how big is the market out there the sell order quantity is still not going to tell you anything about whether the item is moving because just because there's an order that doesn't mean there's a transaction but it's at least a good indicator so if this says one you already know that there's very few items up for sale so this is not a good market probably um Probably none of these are. I mean, if you look at Federation Navy Iron Charge S, for example, um, there's the the uh, the volume is very very low, and the 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 number of trades that happens is also very very low. There's a very big discrepancy between buy and sell orders. There's just no active market here. So all of these are pretty shitty. All of these are. Um, you when you get into you get into realistic realistic stuff maybe even maybe back here i don't know sorry let me show you because i was hiding it 
maybe like if you if you go down the list a little bit more you know maybe at some point you get to to like realistic items right here like these steel plates because now we're talking right these steel plates are moving <clears throat> these steel plates are moving they're actually an awesome market look at this this is a good trader market nice margin big volume Look, guys, we found a good good Omega trade item. This is nice. And this is what I'm talking about, right? People actually sell them to buy orders. And you're like, dude, you like... <laughs> you, um, you, you, you earned all those LP and then you'd go and sell to buy orders. That's just... Uh, it's, a, it's a crime. But yeah, so that's realistic territory. So realistically, what you can do is... You will have gone in here, you will have checked some items, and then you reach this item right here, and you probably say, okay, that's a that's a good trade for my LP. That's That makes sense. Um, what I wanted to say earlier is, if you want to circumvent that whole thing, you can click buy order here. So you, you can click buy order here. And clicking buy order here just means that you want to ignore the sell orders. You want the absolute sure bets. So if you click on buy order, the ISK per LP naturally is going to be much, much lower, but this is actually a zero risk because there's a buy order out there. So unless somebody's faking the buy order, this is actually going to be zero risk. So uh, an ex, ex executor Navy issue, right? Uh, it's, that's a ship. Um, you go out here uh, in Jita, you can actually see that um, there's somebody out here buying this for 53 million, right? This is <laughs> these 57 million actually uh, they don't exist anymore. This is not true, um, but this is uh, delayed, so this is this is gone by now. Um, and so some people may go in here and and do this um, uh, uh, select by buy price, and they just want quick quack cash. Trade it in for that, and then go out and uh, um, and sell to buy orders. Possibly, some people are doing that. To me, I never do that ever. The only thing I do is I use this to find out what's the the low end of what the LP would be worth, right? So a thousand is the absolute low end, and we just proved right there that about two and a half thousand is the realistic price right now for an ISK for an, uh, one LP in the in that store. So. Um, Quick excursion into uh, Fuzzworks LP uh, store items and what they mean for the market. Um, okay, we have 10 seconds on the raffle. So exclamation mark raffle. If you want to still get in there, exclamation mark raffle. Eight seconds, exclamation mark raffle. Exclamation mark raffle, get in there, get in there. We're giving away 118 million. Uh, share and I'm gonna pick the winner and the winner is Miso 2509 Miso 2509 Are you there? <clears throat> Miso is there. Okay, so if you won the raffle um, Please uh, join the discord and uh, hit me up on discord. Uh, give me your in-game name and I will buy a share in your name Cool and that is currently worth 118 million. All right. That was a quick excursion into uh, LP land and into alpha trading. Uh, so we are at uh, about two hours and 10. So uh, I'm actually going to wrap it up for, for, 